Hello everybody, I'm Talit Douglas from Visual Sense Crafts and today I wanted to show you how I make these gorgeous beads and I make them out of straws. Now there's lots and lots of ways you can make beads. Um, I've done a video which I'll link below of how to make them with paper, um, which is really easy to do. But another way is to make them with straws. And I really actually quite like making them this way because it's really simple to do and the way I do it is simple straw now these are just I'm in the UK and we've got the works in the UK and these are just a pound from the works and I've got lots of different colors of these straws but actually it doesn't really matter about the color because you, you can leave them that color or you can decorate them however you want that part there is this paper straw part and they are absolutely solid and they're, they're really solid when you make them with uh, a glue stick now this is actually not a hot glue it's a well it's cool glue but it's actually still really really hot <laughs> so be careful because those of you that use glue sticks know that it really hurts when you get it on your fingers so and it can take the skin off and can do some real serious damage so this is although it's a cool glue stick um it's still really really hot now these are the glue sticks that i use and as you can see it says cool melt glue sticks but they are very hot so still be very very careful but i like to use this the cooler one for the straws especially if you're using plastic straws because i have got some plastic straws as well which i use but these are um quite chunky they, they're quite a lot thicker so i only use these when i want really really chunky beads so I tend to use these ones more and all i do is decide how how long i want the straw these ones are a bit short. I'm going to make this one a bit bigger and I'm just going to snip a bit of that off. We'll do it about there. And then put it back into shape. And then I use just this wire and this is uh, one millimeter wire, which is 18 gauge, but you can use any sort of wire you want. You can use um, craft garden, garden center floral wire if you want this is a little bit thinner but you can you can pick this stuff up anywhere and it's really quite cheap and these are um, oasis floral products so garden centers um, stock all this and craft shops everywhere they, they stock all this sort of wire and i use this sort of wire for lots and lots of different things but for this one i'm going to use this one millimeter like i say it's 18 gauge and it's quite a lot thicker now these i've got some that i've made i've been making loads of these and so these are how i make them all up to start with these are fabric covered um, and then i leave a good length of wire on them purely because i like to do these sort of things where um you can add all this detail afterwards if you leave a good length if you don't want a long length i mean that's a that's a shorter one i've done and i love them equally it depends what your product is that you're going to do with them and what you want them for in the end but that's one example and that's another and i've made lots and lots and lots of different types of these beads all different sizes and shapes and oh they're just just look gorgeous do whatever you want with them so that's some of the ones i've made some different sizes so i just tend to make them in batches so this is the batch that i've got working on at the moment so as you can see fabric covered all different types of fabric and it takes such a small amount of fabric so out of one little piece of fabric you can get tons and this uh, this one well these are all of the same garment because these are off my daughter's old shorts that was no good so I cut them up 
and as you can see there's lots of different designs on there so I've used all these different designs out of one sheet one piece of fabric so all the different colors and they look so different but just off one pair of shorts I've still got quite a lot of this fabric left which I've and I've used it on lots and lots and lots of beads this was another this was a pair of her leggings that she put out didn't want so I thought well I can use that so what I do is I get a length of wire and just snip it off there's my bead that I'm going to do so just snip off whatever length you want to do yours and then I put the wire in through the bead and centrally if you want it central you might, might want one end longer than the other however you want to do it but I want it pretty central but it doesn't have to be exact now then you get your glue gun and what I do is I put the nozzle right to the end so it closes the end be careful be, this end because sometimes if you've got a shorter straw it'll ooze out the bottom end and burn your fingers so be very very careful and then just fill it with your glue and when I think that's about enough it's starting to come out the top turn it around and do the other end I don't know if you can see that's nearly nearly coming out there so be very very careful and that's that filled so I just have it on an old tray like this one of those old disposable trays that I don't dispose of I use <laughs> so then you've got a little while for the glue to go cool so centrally wire and let it cool doesn't have to be exact don't worry if it's not completely in the center because it doesn't really matter that much because you're um, you can center it with your bead caps or whatever you're using so let it go cool and if you think it needs a bit more topping up just top up the ends that one wants a bit more in there I like to have them the full so then I can stick the fabric right to the end or whatever it is I'm going to use so that's the ends all filled and it's cooled nicely so and that is absolutely solid hard so it makes some really really good and firm beads so just clean up the ends get all those loose bits of of glue off and then what I'm going to do with this one is I'm going to give it a coat of nail varnish because you can use whatever you want on your beads and you can decorate them with papers you can decoupage them you can use um, napkins like I've showed in previous video or you can use nail varnish and I mean the colours you can get with nail varnishes are absolutely beautiful and you can you can do them one colour or you can put your first colour on let it dry and then do some decoration with another colour of the top but for this one I'm just going to start by giving it a good coat you might need a couple of coats depending on how you feel and depending on what sort of nail varnish you've got Oh, I love that colour, I think that is absolutely gorgeous. So make sure it's all nicely covered. Doesn't that look fab? Look at that colour. Beautiful. Make sure you haven't got any runs on it, unless you want runs on it. Sometimes it gives it a bit of detail, a bit of texture. I'm going to do the ends as well. Just because I can. And the other end. there now I shall put that to one side to dry and whilst I'm doing that's drying I'm going to do some more and then I'm just going to put it on the edge of my tray like that to dry 
get that put away before I knock it over because I'm a bit of a klutz and that usually knock things off, knock things over so I always make sure I get my lids on straight away. So that's the sort of effect you can get and if you use nail bonds you don't actually have to glaze it or anything afterwards because it, that's the, na the natural glaze. So I really like that or you can give it a couple of coats of clear nail varnish or, or whatever you want. So what I'm going to do is just get one of these and just show you how I add the beads and everything because this is done exactly the same way apart from it's covered in fabric. Now actually I'll just show you how I do the, <coughs> do the ones that I put the fabric on. So do it the same, cut a length of that off and then get your wire. That's the last of that, so I'll just use that piece and put the wire there. Yeah, talking about being a clutch, I've just dropped my straw. Right, two ticks. Rescued my straw off the floor. <laughs> clumsy as always, so clumsy. That's a bit too long actually, so I am going to cut a bit off there. So I want it about there. And that bit won't go to waste I will use that for some other beads and then fill this one because I just wanted to show you how I how I put the fabric on really so central your wire where you want it cover the end with a hot glue gun or the cool glue gun which is still hot <laughs> and fill your straw very very carefully and then turn it around do the other end great way to do the beads with these straws and hot glue it just works so nicely and very very quick and easy to do so it takes a little while to to cool off properly i just like to before it dries completely i just like to make sure it is centralized Be careful for safety at all times and mind your fingers because like I said if you are used to using this glue I am sure like me you'll have burnt your fingers perhaps many many times and it gets a bit scary sometimes because you know how much it hurts <laughs> so very careful just top the end up because as it's drying, it, it just sometimes sink in a little bit more. So that's nicely filled up. And just before it sets, make sure it's centered. So that's all ready. And now this glue has cooled down enough now, so I can just take these bits off the ends, clean up all those bits of glue off. Doesn't have to be too special because we're covering it anyway. I just like to clean it up a bit. So there's the one we're going to do now. And I will move these out of the way. Those trays are great for using with your hot glue guns because it keeps it all nicely contained and then you can just pick all the glue off and reuse your tray. I've had that for a long time with my keep all my glue sticks and all my glue my hot glue guns together because I've got different glue guns for different projects so we're going to use some of this fabric and you just use a very small amount so just measure it up loosely and if I cut along that line that will give me plenty for that straw So just snip it along there and then you only need a little bit so I just cut it along there and that's going to go nicely around that bead lovely jubbly so you can use what glue you want 
um, you can use a fabric glue or whatever type of glue you want really I'm going to use this fast tack glue I like this glue it's uh, I use it for lots and lots of different things and I should have perhaps pierced a little bit more because I usually pierce it with the end of this straw make sure it's not dried so wipe that on there and then cover your straw in this glue or whatever glue you're using I'm going to soon need a new one of these it's getting a bit low it's all the way around I like to put plenty on and then leave that on the side and it'll uh, move down the tube a bit and then just put your end on and wrap it around so as you can see out of an old pair of shorts <laughs> you're gonna get quite a lot of beads so Pull it so it's tight and then where it overlaps put some more glue on I really am addicted to making beads at the moment I go through stages of making different things but when I, I get started on something like these oh, I just can't leave it alone and I've got to go away this weekend I'm going to visit a friend I haven't got to go away I am going away I'm going to visit a friend so I'm trying to get as many of these beads in as possible because I can't take all my bead making stuff with me because I don't know what I'm going to need and I've got so many bits and pieces you know what it's like when we as crafters we get all sorts of stuff don't we and you never have when you take stuff away you never have the piece that you want that you actually want there's always something you leave behind so I think this weekend I'm going to take away some crochet because I've got a couple of well I've got about six projects on in the progress with my crochet so I shall take something a couple of my crochet projects and work on those because then I can make sure I've got everything with me that I need so that's your bead all done nicely covered and then that just needs to dry a little bit so I just have oh, I'm always getting stuck up with glue so I have one of these old cloths and just wipe all that away so with these fabric covered ones you don't need to glaze it or anything so I really do love making these fabric ones with these straw beads so that's how I get to that stage so I'm going to put that one to one side and I will show you how I make them like these type of things just I do them different every time so there's um just do whatever you want whatever it takes your fancy look at me covered in glue um you just have your bead caps a selection of beads I've got some spacer beads I've got more beads <laughs> beads everywhere the my poor old husband nearly he just put up with a lot because I've, I've i've got so many different projects on the go all the time and i've got so many different crafts that i love doing and stuff everywhere and we are going to be getting a craft room well we're, built, we're in a bungalow and we're going to be building up so um not started yet but we've contacted some builders so hopefully we will be starting soon and i'm really excited because i'm going to have a craft room made especially as a craft room so I can't wait to show you well I can't wait to, to get it and use it but I can't wait to show you it all and uh, hopefully you might be able to get some ideas from me so if you're interested in that stay tuned keep um, subscribe to my channel and then you'll be able to see as I progress with my craft room and all the building work as well as all these uh, tutorials that I want to show you so for this one um what shall we do we can oh we can do so much really we're going to put on it uh i think i'm going to go with some red ones 
so some red beads now i have i know this is like a goldy like, it's like an antique goldy colored wire really but i don't mind having gold colored wire and silver colored bits and pieces on it i like to mix things up a bit so what i'm going to do with this is i'm going to put one of these love i love these space beads and i think they look really effective so i'm going to put one of those over the end see i've got a bit of glue on that one so what i'm just going to do is get my um little snippers these aren't my good snippers so i don't mind doing this with these and just giving that a little cut through there just the glue not the wire and then just pull that off a little bit because then hopefully that spacer bead will slide a bit further down there and then i'm going to put a bead cap one of these sorts on there and then a bead and then another one of those bead caps i don't always put bead caps on sometimes i do like to but other times i think you know doesn't doesn't want it for this one so i like these little clear ones so i'm going i'm going to actually i'm going to put a spacer bead in there like little snowflake silvery colored ones and i think they look so effective and then another spacer And then I'm going to put another red one. So I want a bead cap. And then another red one. And then another bead cap. Get some of these lit ones out. And then a spacer. And then we'll put, I think I'm going to put some of these small red ones now. There, yeah, like that. And then another bead spacer. And then some more of these reds. Yeah, I think that looks that's starting to look really rather nice. So if you want obviously do a shorter one, then you just put one or two beads, whatever you want to do really. I'm just I like I liking these longer ones at the moment because I'm going to my plan is I'm gonna have them in my craft room hanging all over the place because I just love them. I mean look at that lovely how gorgeous does that look just do it however you want but whatever you want to do you do it i'm just doing it my way and like i say every one i do is completely different to the last one so i think now i'll do one more and i think i might just put a different color on the end one as well so red bead and a space bead And then I'm going to put one of these little blue ones and that match the blue there. Let's see how that looks. See how it looks. If it doesn't look right, we can take it off. Yeah, I like that. And then I'm going to put a space bead on the end. If I can see to get it through the hole. There, I think that looks nice. Now, the way I do these ends is I have my snippers, pliers, and I have my round nose pliers, and my bent nose pliers. So I want it nice and tight, so I make sure all the beads are pushed down, and then I put my square pliers to the end and bend that at a right angle so it's like that 
let's move these from behind so you can see it a bit clearer so you've got a right angle on your wire and then I take my round nose pliers and put them on there and bend that wire all the way back round and then take them out and reinsert the pliers and then take it round further up like that so then you have that and then I get my pliers and hold on to that and angle this down slightly and then wrap it round and keep it angled ever so slightly down so when you're wrapping round it's spiraling down that wire as far down as you can get it to keep those beads as tight as you want them you don't have to have them tight but I want it nice and tight you see how that spiraled down rather than winding it round itself over the top it spiraled it nice and neatly and that's holding that nice and tight now so then what I do is come in and snip that off and then we'll get these bent nose pliers and knit that in nice and tight so we don't get any sharp edges pointing out and then I'll just straighten that up a little bit there so that's that done nicely coiled it's not zooming in ever so well is it not the focusing well there we go nice and neat so then the other end now you, you, I tend to not do them all the same I don't I don't feel the need to have this end exactly the same as this I try and keep them um, so it's the same sort of colors or something similar you don't want it completely different to this end but it doesn't have to be exactly the same not for me anyway some people um, like things to be completely uniform I'm more of a random person so I'll do it slightly different I don't need to check the other end because I'm not going to try and do it the same so space a bead on first and then I'm going to put I think I might go for some clear ones because I do like the clear ones clear one space a bead so I can actually see what I'm using oh sorry about the sun I hope you can still see okay it was, it was really quite overcast just now we've been, been having some rain and now the sun's out it's a strange time of year here in the UK we've had some really hot spring days in fact we've just had the hottest Easter weekend of the year of, not of the year <laughs> there's only one Easter weekend of the year on record we've just had the hottest Easter weekend so it's been really lovely because as you know here in the UK we tend to get quite a lot of rain and have quite unpredictable weather sometimes so going for a red one and a space bead and then I think we will have another red and another spacer bead I hope you can see that because that sun is quite a distraction really and then I've got some small of these clearer type of beads which I'll just put some of those on to taper that end off a bit I think and then finish it off with a red one yeah. actually I'm going to 
finish it off with a spacer bead. So that's my beads on. So now I'm going to do this end exactly the same as you did the other end. So I'll show you that again. So you put your pliers on there. So these beads are pushed nice and tight and push that down so it gives a nice right angle. And then go to the round nose pliers on top of the right angle and bring that up and over and then move the pliers so then you've got that sort of shape then you reinsert the pliers and then pull it around to the other side so you've got that and then I'm going to hold it with these pliers take that down at a slight angle and start winding it around. You can either wind it around with your fingers like this, or you can use another set of pliers, which I sometimes use other pliers, but this is quite easy to to use. And it's a, not a short end, because if I'm using, um, if I'm trying to do this and I'm trying to do it with a shorter end of wire, then I would use my bent nose pliers to do this but this is not too bad actually so that's that wound around i'm just going to snip that off as close as possible and hold on to the end so it doesn't ping into your eyes and there we have our bead well more of a dangly really because uh, i'm using I'm making these to make as danglies to hang in my craft room when I get it. Now, you can then um, get some more wire. Oops, sorry about the noise. I've got a piece of wire here which is on an end of the roll which is just come off the end. So I'm going to use this one. And what I'm going to do is just tuck it into there between that last bead and the spacer. I'm just going to pull that tight and wrap it around a few times. Like that. And then I'm going to, I was going to cut it, but I don't need to because it's quite a, it's quite a short piece of wire. So I'll just leave it for now. I've just got a couple of kinks in there, which I'm just going to straighten out. Otherwise I won't be able to get my beads on. Now, what beads? Oh, are these ones? I quite like these ones, the tiny little beads, but um, I rather like these. These are little spacer beads, but I use them for all sorts of things, really. So they're just tiny, tiny little beads. They look, they remind me of um, coffee beans <laughs> so I'm going to use some of these and put these on here well, perhaps it would have helped if I'd have cleaned all that glue off my fingers you know because my hands got all bits of glue on they are, they are absolutely covered in glue which doesn't help, especially when you're working with tiny little beads like this. So you just put as many as you want on. Do you decide how you're going to do yours? But this is just gives you some ideas, really, because... I love watching YouTube tutorials and see how other people do theirs. Oh, I, ca I came across a lady called Callie Black and she does some lovely beads. She does um, some really nice boho style beads and I have been making some of those. So I'm going to do, I mean, these are quite boho as well, actually, but I've been making, um, she did some bracelets as well. 
some fabric covered bracelets and I've I watched quite a few of her her videos and oh, I think she I think she's fab. Her name's Callie Black and she I just um really really liked her and so I watched a few of her videos and loved them, loved what she was doing. So I got some good ideas of her. So what I'm going to do here, because I want the red to show through as well, so it shows, mixes with the, the beads that I've got on the ends. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some beads. Oopsie, sorry, I went off the camera there. Um, space the beads out a bit and wrap the wire around. So I'm sliding the beads across and wrapping as I go, because I want those beads to show and the wire so the beads and the red wire I'll just wrap around and then put a bead wrap around and push a bead around no regular pattern just however you want it to be and just keep wrapping and this also helps to hold the fabric in place as well so it's got two purposes makes it look pretty and it helps hold the fabric in place because sometimes I put a thicker so a few layers of fabric on so it um, is a bit more chunky so that's that and then what I'm going to do is wrap it around the end around there give it a couple of wraps and then I'm going to go back up because I like the effect it gives when it crosses over the wires. And you can wrap it around as many times as you want, really. I've got a bit of wire there, so I can use that for another project. And I quite like how that looks like that. Uh, yeah, I think that's enough. So then wrap that wire around the end. Pull it tight and snip it off and then I use my bent nose pliers to push that wire down and just give it a little tighten up like that just so you haven't got any ends of wires and then what I like to do is to give it a little bit more detail I tend to get a piece of the wire and just give it a little turn and it tightens the wire up and gives it a nice little bit of detail. So just randomly where you want it to be, turn it and then find another piece, a little twist. Be careful, don't twist it too much because it will snap. But I just think it gives it some added detail and I think it makes it look even more fabulous. Aren't they gorgeous? I just love them. Love, 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 love them. There. So, there's our gorgeous boho, gypsy, whatever you want to call it. I just call it fabulous. <laughs> Bead. Or dangly. And then you can add, um, have charms on the end which I've gone on some of these. There's, some up here. There's one with a charm on the end. There, so like that. So if you want to put charms on the end or tassels or whatever you want to do, but aren't they gorgeous? And don't those look fantastic? There's little beads with that gorgeous wire there that's a better picture the sun's not helping isn't it gorgeous so i hope that's given you some ideas and i've got loads more i want to show you so do keep watching my other videos and subscribe to my channel because hopefully you'll be able to see as i progress with my craft room once the building work starts and watch me put my craft room together and in the meantime 
I'll be showing you lots more of these fab videos on how to make gorgeous boho beads, otherwise known as fabulous beads <laughs> and danglies. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.